Hello, this is from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce everyone to a new, an add-on that's not new. It's an add-on that's been around for uh, actually three months, according to what's written on the uh, sites on the uh, Blender markets. And it's the Cracker add-on. And I've been testing it and using it, and it's made a whole lot of difference in terms of quick destruction for any model in Blender. Now this is only for Blender version 2.93 and above, anything from a uh, two point probably eight and below it, it won't work. Now I'm using it or going to test it in Blender 2.92, and when you install in 2.92, you'll have some kind of warning that pops up saying this Blender add-on has been used or been built or created for 2.93. <clears throat> Excuse me, not, might not function properly. But it functions fine for me. And I've changed the uh, settings on my microphone. Last uh, tutorial I did, uh, there was a complaint that the sound, the voice sound was pretty bad. So I've just readjusted it. And hopefully this week it'll sound fine. But to install it, it's just straightforward. And I'll leave a link of the uh, add on uh, for download in the description below this video. And it's just straightforward. Same process. Go to edit after you've saved on your system. Go to edit and preferences. <coughs> Excuse me again. Then click on install. <coughs> Get some water. This weather's been doing something to the throat. That's better. And then navigate to where you've installed it on your system and click install add on. And it automatically installs it into Blender. Uh, once it's done that, you'll just navigate to where you've, uh, it'll pop up actually in the pop-up menu, so let's type in, uh, Cracker. Here it is, just put a check in the box and it's activated. And with Blender 2.8 and above, it automatically should have this, uh, box checked for automatic saving on your, on the, uh, inside of Blender. But if it doesn't, just put a check in that box and save it automatically. You can also, excuse me, click on save preferences and that will save it also so that when you upload blender the next time they'll be available for you to use and once you've done that the good thing that I've seen about this add-on is that it's not in the toolbar at all you can't see her see it on the uh, toolbar at all uh, in order to activate it you just press ctrl W what I've done I've uh, got three models of Suzanne at different levels of subdivision uh, this first one has no subdivision at all, it's just straight out of the box. The second one has uh, a subdivision of 1, and the third one has a subdivision of 2. So I want to see how well this uh, crack out on cracks material or models in Blender and see how well it does. So let's zoom in on the first one. And like I said, uh, in object mode, to activate the add-on you press Control w then all your options are right here and you don't have to press anything on your mouse because right now all I'm doing is just moving the mouse around I'm not pressing any buttons at all on the mouse nothing just moving my, my mouse around freely you can see this little line which is the crack uh, on the model and you just press <clears throat> press each one of these keys the S key is for scaling the noise the R key is for rotating the crack uh, the G key is to move it, the T key is to make it wider or thinner, the B key is to bend your crack, and the D key is to, to displace the crack. Uh, the C key resets the crack to the center, which is right here. And for you to get more or less detail in the crack, you scroll up on your mouse wheel. For more detail, scroll down for less detail. And to remove, maybe you don't want excessive uh pieces from your crack, you press control plus B, which is the left mouse button, or control plus the left mouse button, to remove cracks, uh, ex or extra cracks, or pieces off of your model. And if you don't want to make any, if you want to cancel all your changes, you just press escape or the right mouse button. But we're going to go through each, each of these buttons one at a time. So we're going to press S on our keyboard and see what that does. And as we move our mouse from side to side, once again, remember I'm not uh, pressing any buttons on my on my mouse at all. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just moving the mouse from side to side. 
after I've pressed the S key, you can see that the crack is it's getting smoother or rougher in terms of like the noise that we would like to have on the crack. And let's press R to go to the next button. And when we press R, we can rotate it. Once we're just moving our mouse around, uh, let's press G on our keyboard to see what that does. And once we press G, move our mouse up and down, it, can move, it moves along the uh, last position that we had before we pressed the key. So it's moving up and down on our model. And let's press T, let's see what that does on our keyboard. And by pressing T and moving our mouse up and down, it makes the crack wider or thinner. Okay. And let's press B. And when we press B, that bends our crack. You can see it's starting to bend, which is pretty impressive. And then let's press D on our keyboard, and that displaces the crack. As we move our mouse up and down. And C recenters it, and so on and so forth. We don't want to recenter it. Let's uh, left click to confirm that this is where we want our crack to be. So left click on our mouse button and that's our crack. And it does a really good job. Let's, and it actually separates the model uh, into the different pieces. So I'm left clicking. I've left clicked on this top part and I'm going to drag it over. And it's uh, it's put a face on this part of the model but there's no face on this side. And I think that's because the geometry is not that much. It doesn't have much to work with, which is interesting. Let's see what happens when we do the same thing to the other models. So I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard. Hold down Shift, left cl click on the middle mouse button. Hold that down and drag over to reposition my window. And I'm going to left click on this uh, version of Suzanne that has been subdivided only once. And Control W again. Okay. It's just the same thing. We're just trying to test out how well it does on different uh, kinds of meshes that have been subdivided. And let's make this a little bit, the crack a little bit wider by pressing T. And left click to confirm that, uh, confirm that choice there. And let's left click on that bottom part and drag this across. So this also has this part of the face, so this part of the uh, model uh, has a face on it, but this part doesn't. And I think this it's giving us different options here, different results. I mean, one again. Uh, oh, sorry about that. One. Me reposition my window, and we're gonna try this one. This has been subdivided twice, so Control W again. And this time, let's not. Let's just left click and see what happens. Left click, left click on that, drag it apart, and look at this. This uh, it's put a face on this side, and also on this one. So I'm guessing that the wider uh, our crack is on the model, uh, the probability of it covering both cracked faces is uh, less likely because we made the width on this one pretty wide and there's only one side of this that has been covered and same thing with this one but with our model where the crack was thinner it covered both faces so you just keep that in mind and you can also you can add as many cracks as you want to a, to a model this has been cracked already you can still add more cracks to it let's left click on that control w another crack left click left click and we have it split again let's deal with this one I want to see what's going to happen when we crack the uh, part of the model that has an open uh, gaping opening at the bottom of it I want to see if it's going to fill it up so control uh, W again left click left click there drag it apart Oh, I still didn't do it. That's that's interesting. Let's see if it'll. Let's see. It seems like the uh, part of the model that has that gaping hole at the bottom. It's that process seems to continue throughout the model because now none of these faces, none of these broken parts, have a 
have been covered. They're still open. Let's see if we if this one uh, follows the same path as uh, covering up the broken pieces. So Control W again. Let's uh, let's see. Let's make a, a crack right there. Let's move our mouse around. Left click. Left click. Oh, and this is covered. So I guess that's one thing we have to keep in mind whenever you use this, the cracker add-on. Try to not separate the or make the crack wide by pressing T. Don't make it too wide because if you make it too wide, then you'll have the situation where you'll have open pieces as opposed to closed pieces. So that's Blender's quick tip today, uh, examining and looking through the cracker add-on which works great and once again I thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel thank you guys who are subscribing now and those of you who have subscribed in the past and those of you who will subscribe in the future really appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next one alright adios